Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of a wrap up of my previous video, which in case if you missed that, it was a huge haul of Asian beauty products from YesStyle. I'll go ahead and link it up here and down below along with my K-beauty playlist. I have a lot of tutorials, hauls, try-ons, reviews in that playlist. So if after this one, you decide you wanna learn some more about my favorite Korean beauty products, then that would probably be a great place to start. So I went ahead and grabbed all the products that I hauled and decided to throw together a fall makeup look because I don't know about you, I'm so ready for fall, all the fall things. Cooler weather, cozy vibes, warm colors, hocus pocus. I actually don't care about the pumpkin drinks at Starbucks. I like making my own coffee drinks at home, but basically all the fall things. I plan on busting out my fall decor very, very soon. I don't care what Keegan has to say about that. But if you're interested in how I created this look, then go ahead and keep on watching. For my eyes, I feel like I get distracted very easily if I'm trying to like talk and apply at the same time. So I thought for my eyes, it would be easier to do a B-roll while I'm talking. Quads that I decided to use are both products from Romant. And then as usual, I just went in and did my typical shadow liner. I just find that it's much easier to do instead of going in with like a precise liquid liner or pencil liner. And then all over my lid, just to kind of create a smoky base, I went in with this Full Shot Mono Shadow. This is from the brand Apu. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you do play with K-Beauty products, are familiar with their Juicy Bong Liquid Blushes. It's just this really pretty matte brown shadow with tons of little gold shimmers suspended throughout. If you go in and apply it with your fingers, then you can still see the glitters. But if you go in with a brush, a lot of the glitters just flicks away. And then the star of the show, if you caught that haul, then you know I'm obsessed with these Aditoma Shine Fix Eyes. This one is in the shade at number two Wishless. It is so beautiful. You can definitely go in with more on your finger and really pack it on to create a more intense shimmer. Today, I actually applied a little bit more than what I was meaning to, but I mean, this stuff really packs a punch. Someone had left a comment in the haul video saying that it looked very similar to the Hourglass Scattered Light Shadows. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those in my collection, so I can't really compare the formula side by side for you, but I have several of these Shine Fix Eyes and I love all of them. This one definitely is making its sway up to number one. If you love shimmer shadows, you will adore the Shine Fix eyes. I applied some falsies and I feel so weird. Like I feel like I could fly away right now because I haven't worn any false lashes in such a long time. It just feels weird, but I don't know. I was like, I wanna do something a little bit more dramatic today. So now let's go ahead and move on to the face. I did have two different primers that I featured in that haul video. So I wanna try out both. I'm gonna do a little bit of the Laneige Glowy Serum first. I'll go ahead and try to do an up close visual of this serum, but I didn't notice yesterday, but I can see it now. Whenever I dispense some of the product out, there's, it's not beads because I can't feel any actual beads on my face, but there's these little like pearlescent dots throughout the serum. So I guess that's where the glow comes from. It does feel very nice and hydrating on the face. Now going in with the Face Blur Smoothing Primer. This product actually has a very nice controlled pump. You know, sometimes like no matter how gently you squeeze, you just get a ton of product. This is coming out very slowly. So I'm gonna concentrate this just on the sides of my nose where I have larger pores. As you can see, there is like this brightening effect to it. I had mentioned in the haul video how I noticed like a little bit of this pearly pink glow. And I can definitely see it on my face too. While it's smoothing, it's not one of those really thick, like drying sort of silicone primers. It goes on very, very thin like a lotion, but then as you continue to rub it in, you start to feel those smoothing properties. You know what, let's go ahead. I'm probably getting carried away. I'm just gonna take this tiny extra dot and do this on my eyes right here. Let's see if it helps brighten up the darkness. I can't believe it took me this long to try this primer. Do you see what I mean? It's like it instantly brightened my skin and it doesn't feel like there's any additional product on my face. It just brightens and smooths out. Wow, that is really nice. I'm kind of curious to see if the other formulas also have this like brightening quality to it too. I'm going back and forth between the VDL Perfecting Last Foundation or the Misha BB Cream. I haven't tried the BB Cream in so long and whenever I did the swatch on my hands yesterday, it just looked so nice and dewy and everything seemed to like swatch nicely on top of it. So I think we are gonna go in with this. Again, I got mine in the shade number 27, Honey Beige. So I'm just gonna dispense one full pump 
and begin dotting it with my hands first and then I'll probably go in with my cokey sponge after. From what I remember, you can get this to like a good medium coverage, but the formula is just very ideal for an everyday sort of foundation. It just feels nice and light on the skin. I have four different concealers here to choose from. I know this one from Betty Betta. It's currently way too light. My favorite in the bunch is definitely this one from Pony Effect. This is their Pro Fit Liquid Concealer. I have mine in beige. I also have this one from Misha. This is their Glow Concealer. Maybe we'll do a mixture of these two. And then I have this one from The Sam. This is the Mineralizing Creamy Concealer. I actually don't remember this one too much, so maybe we'll just apply a little bit of this one right here on the outer parts of my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with the Pony Effect one and just apply a little bit of this right here on the inner corners. For the brush, this is the Smashbox Precise Highlighting Brush, just to kind of pat it in first, and then I'll let it warm up, and then go in with my sponge to really spread it out. For just the heck of it, let's use some of this Misha concealer. I like the applicator on this one too. Looks like a little foot that's stomping. It's like not your typical doe foot. It has this little flat side right here. Just do some on my chin, my nose forehead. The Misha Glow Concealer is definitely more on the lighter coverage. It does give a glowy finish, but if you're someone with like severe dark under eyes or you're really looking to conceal, um, I would go with something with a bit more coverage. For instance, the Pony Effect Pro Fit Concealer, because the Glow one is definitely on the lighter side. But see, you just get that little bit of glow. It's such a cute concealer. I know that's a weird way to describe it, but I feel like that's the best way. This is the Hamish Glow Makeup Fixer Bulgarian Rose Water. I love the scent and the mist of this one is so nice. This is easily mm, the best smelling, oh, <laughs> I just did that in my open eyeball. The best smelling setting spray mm, I've ever used. That smells delicious. I actually only have one KBD cream bronzer in my collection as of right now. I decluttered a few of the other ones that I wasn't as crazy about. This is just the I'm Mimi bronzer in 001. It is on the warmer side, but those are the type of bronzers that I like. And from there, we will take our trusty e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This formula also stays wet on the skin for quite a while. Sometimes with some stick bronzers, you put it on and if you don't blend it out immediately, sorry, you're screwed. You're gonna have a stripe of bronzer on your face for the rest of the day, unless you want to wash your face. This one stays very blendable. Oh and wants to eat your hair for quite a while. This formula also comes in blush sticks. I want to say that there's highlighter ones as well, but I can't remember for sure. I'll go ahead and link those options down below too, just in case if you are interested. Isn't that bronzer so pretty? It's nothing super special, but I just find that it gives the perfect amount of warmth and it blends into the skin nicely. I don't know if I wanna apply a cream blush first or just go straight into powder. I actually ordered quite a few <laughs> blushes and I didn't show them in my last or like in the haul that I just posted the other day because I've had these for a while. I think I'm gonna go in with the Keep In Touch one and I'm actually just gonna use my fingers. It's just like a squishy cream, a less cloudy version of the old school Maybelline ones and do a cheesy smile and just press it right down to the cheeks. I can't help myself. I just love glowy blushes, especially blushes that kind of work as a blush and highlighter in one. My newest one is this one from Pony Effect. It is really pretty, but uh, this one just has more shimmer in it than some of my other ones. And I'm just not really wanting actual pieces of glitter on my face. So I'm gonna stick to a classic and my favorite. This is the Clio Air Prism Blush in Gorgeous Coral. I know I've used this before, but I can't help it. Once you find something that you like, it's just like, give it to me all day, every day. This is just such a beautiful blush because it gives you this amazing glow. Look at that. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love it. If you caught my August favorites and you already know all about this eyeliner, this is from the brand McQueen New York. I wanna say these are like $3.50 or $4, definitely under $5, and they are the creamiest, 
waterproof, metallic, beautiful eyeliners ever. I've been loving the shade number four. It's like this shimmery, bronzy, golden shade that is just beautiful all over. I like to apply it onto my waterline and then drag it all the way down to my lower lash line. As you can see, the formula of this just glides right on and the little shimmers stay suspended. So they're not like falling all over your face, but isn't that pretty? Just add something and I just feel like it matches with the lids nicely. I grabbed these from 3CE. I personally love this formula, but I know a lot of people find them to be way too drying. I just love how long it lasts on my lips. So I grabbed the shade 116 Inked Heart and then 909 Smoked Rose. Do you see even how it applies? Like it kind of tugs a bit because it's a thicker formula. It doesn't instantly melt down on your lips. It's like a true matte finish, not a very like emollient product. Okay. I think we're gonna do that and then maybe we'll apply a little bit of smoked rose on top just to deepen it up some even more. There you have it. Today's full face of K-Beauty to create this fall makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. I'm seriously so in love with this setting spray. I know some people are very partial to like setting sprays or primers. Those are steps in my makeup routine that I absolutely adore and I'm so glad that I ordered this one. The scent, the actual mist of it, everything, the packaging is so cute. That's it. I won't keep you any longer. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.